This video demonstrates MIT's Atlas robot continuously walking over uneven terrain using general purpose footstep planning and passive stereo fusion. Robots like this usually can only walk for a few footsteps placed in advance whilst in a standstill. Here we remove this restriction by planning online and walk the entire course without stopping. In the video you can see that the robot's laser is covered up in a box. Here we use only the stereo camera to estimate the terrain in front of the robot. While the robot's mapping system Continuous builds a volumetric model of the environment by fusing each stereo image produced by the robot's sensor head. This is done at 10 Hz. Note that the height map implicitly ignores the robot's knees as well as providing a height estimate underneath the robot's feet. Our footstep planner solves a mixed integer convex optimization to simultaneously choose the number of footsteps to take and their position, such that every step is entirely contained within the flat regions of the height map and is reachable from the previous foot position. Here, we replay the action of the robot, along with the full map created by the end of the experiment. The mapping approach was originally developed to produce high-quality maps with active RGBD cameras, such as the Kinect. Of particular importance is the quality of normals, which can be estimated from this fused stereo map. Here, we visualize the steps required to fit planar regions of the terrain. First, we extract and ignore the ground plane. Next, we determine the points containing normals facing upwards. Having ignored a few small clusters, we can reliably extract all the large upward-facing planar regions of the course. When a foot leaves the ground, we capture a snapshot of the 3D environment in front of the robot and find the planar regions which are large enough for the robot to stand on. These plane regions are passed to our footstep planner along with the expected configuration of the robot at the next double support phase and a goal a few meters in front of the robot. The footstep planner solves a mixed integer optimization to place the shown footsteps on the terrain. All of this perception and planning is carried out within a second or two. Here our operator moves along a goal position to illustrate the speed of replanning and the planner readjusts the placement and number of footsteps that would be required. The new footstep plan is then communicated to the robot's controller for execution. In this case we use the Boston Dynamics controller. In summary, we have demonstrated that despite challenging texture and lighting conditions, continuous motion of the robot and low latency requirements, that stereo depth fusion can produce height maps that are comparable in quality to those from a laser. We have paired that work with a demonstration of continuous mixed integer footstep planning in a challenging real-time situation. Finally, the robot is piloted manually back to the starting location, which demonstrates that the open loop Kinematic and inertial state estimation has accumulated only 10 centimeters state estimation drift.